in London is angry. She's angry. Look at her. Jet lagged and all. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. All right, Brendan Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with Australia's very own Avril Matthew. What's, what's up? How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How yeah, are you? Just got out the ring from sparring. A bit I, sweaty, but I, you know. Hey, put, put in that work. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, good, yeah. Really good sparring partners, and I did good today, so I'm happy. Um, you, you, you always seem to be in a pretty good mood, you know, generally. Yeah, yeah. you know, you have up, downs and up days and down days, and especially when you're trying to like implement new things that don't always work the first time, and so it can get a little frustrating. But today, it was like everything was just falling into place, and it makes me very happy, you know? All no, the no. hard work's paying off. Yeah, no, and... and you know, you, uh, they, they say, you know, sometimes in life, you know, opportunity needs pre preparation, you know, and, and now you have a big opportunity with um, Ramla Ali yeah, on the on the, on the Serrano, on the Amanda Serrano undercard. Uh, talk about that. How, how do you feel about Ram the Ramla Ali fight? I'm super excited. It's a really good fight for me. Um, she, she's good. She's a good opponent. And I've been wanting this high level competition for a long time, like a chance to prove myself. Last year was a bit of a frustrating year with like fights falling through and like big fights, you know, so I'm really happy to finally have my opportunity to prove myself and get this win against a good opponent. Okay. For, for people who have never seen Avril Mathy fight, who have never seen you fight, uh, what do you, what could you say about yourself and your boxing style and what they're going to see on February 4th? Uh, my style typically, I'm usually the long, tall girl, um, but for this fight, I'm actually going up a weight class to Rumlin's weight class, which is 122. Mm -hmm. So I believe we're about the same height. I don't think either of us is longer or taller than the other. Um, so I'm going to be mixing it up between fighting the long style, but I've also been working heavily on the inside game and uh, going to rough her up a little bit. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, good. Take it to where she's uncomfortable. <laughs> bring, bring the pain. Oh, yeah. That's it's going to be an exciting fight, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Um, as far as like, you know, Yourself, right? Because you're from Australia. There's a lot of Australian fighters, you know, like around those weights. I know you got like a Sky Nicholson's around that way. You know, is that a fight maybe in the future? I know you can't overlook Ramla, but like, is that a fight? I mean, who knows? Maybe Sky's actually two weight divisions. Yeah, I know she's me. like 126, right? She's 126. I fight 118 usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going up to 122 for this fight. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of competition for me at 118 that I haven't had the opportunity to fight yet, so I kind of like to clean up my own division first. I mean, I took this uh, fight at the higher weight class because it's a great opportunity for me, and uh, not a lot else was, full, you know, everything <laughs> else was kind of getting a bit frustrating. So um, I feel like a good win at 122 will really put me on the map for all the top fights at 118. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe even a few good ones at one, 122 as well, but I'd really like to just, you know, clean up the 118 okay. weight class first, and then before I think about moving up and other weight no, divisions. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, 118, the, the, so who, who are the champions at 118 right now? I know you did. Uh, there's uh, Yamila, Yam, Yamila Mikado, I think. Mikado, yeah, yeah, Mikado. She's, She's... Uh, I think, no, wait, Mexican girl. I think it's her. She might be one. Anyway, uh, from, girl from Mexico has the WBC. Um, there's Dina Thorsland that has the WBO. She's from... Uh, the, the Germany? No, one yeah. of the northern countries, like Norway or Den Denmark. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was like somewhere. Yeah, yeah Ebony uh, Bridges has the D IBF. And uh, what's the... Nina Hughes just won the WBA. Okay. Yeah, so four different opponents, four different... Uh, champions so let's go yeah gotta got, 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 got to find out who's who in the division get some get some clarity yeah 100%. yeah well you mentioned um ebony bridges right she's a fellow fellow aussie that's more your weight class uh i believe you said you told me you had to fight with her last year that that fell through um yeah. what, what, what do you think about that matchup maybe in the, in the future oh i love it that's like my that, she's my top choice i want to fight her just because um not that i think she's like better or worse than the other champions but I just think that that's a really exciting matchup of our styles. Obviously, we're both big personalities. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it would just be a really fun fight for the fans. It would be a great build-up. It would just be like a lot of hype and a really, really fun fight to have. So that's my uh, preference, if I could choose of the four, just because of, you know, the fun surrounding it, the good matchup of the build up, styles. Yeah, yeah it would be really fun. But, I mean, I'll take any of them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, I've had a chance to interview a lot of Aussies on, on, on my channel over the years. Um, one thing I noticed about the Aussies, like you guys, are, like very upbeat and nothing really seems to get you, like you guys are very like carefree. Would you say or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
It's it's the Australian. That's one thing I miss about Australia the most is the people. You know, people are very like uh, we, we have banter. We, yeah, yeah. we give and we take and we laugh about things. We don't take life too seriously until it comes to winning fights. Obviously, that's serious. But uh, you know, <laughs> outside of the ring, we like to have a little bit of a joke and a yeah, laugh. Yeah. We have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why do you why do you feel like the Aussies are like that? Because uh, that's one thing I noticed in you guys' culture, I, and I like it too. I like that about you guys' culture. Hey, like my favorite saying in life, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong, right? Yeah. Like, what are we here for? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah, enjoy it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't have to box. I could do a thousand other things in life. I do it because I love it. So, if I'm going to do it, I want to enjoy it, and, and that's why I'm here. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. What, what made you love boxing? Uh, for me, it's like a game of chess, but it's not just like moving pieces with your hands. You're literally like throwing your body on the line. You have to be in your absolute peak fitness, your sharpest mind, like everything's got to come together and you've got to think in split seconds of time. It's like you have 10 seconds on a chessboard to like make all the moves, you know? So it just, for me, it's like, I can't think of a bigger challenge in life and I'm very competitive and I like to challenge myself. So for me, boxing is just like the ultimate example of that i know from just like doing a little bit of sparring myself like when you get out the ring you feel 10 feet tall like like <laughs> like you feel like you can conquer anything on a good day yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well even though well, even on the bad days because like if you if you if you're, if you're able to grind it out and you know get get out the ring you know relatively yeah, you well can, you can always take away positives yeah. you know like even if you don't have the best day like i'm sure you did something right yeah so, you know, you focus on that, or at least, even if you didn't like get off what you were trying to do, like, hey, at least you tried and you're a step closer to getting it next time. So, and that's what sparring's all about. Like, sparring's not a fight. Sparring is like learning. Yeah, and yeah. Trying to implement the things that you're practicing, you know, so. No, abs life. absolutely. <laughs> the killer in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, 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 with you being a woman, woman's boxer, you know, women's boxing's are absolutely on fire. You, you feel like, you know, you're gonna be like the next woman's fighter that people talk about. I mean, yeah, I hope so. Like, I feel like people don't really know much about me at the moment in boxing. I have like a much larger fan base sort of outside of boxing. And um, I feel like a win against Ramla Ali is really going to put me on the map in boxing. And like I said, give me an opportunity to prove myself that I belong here and get people talking. And I don't need to be like the one, but I want to be part of the movement of yeah, women's yeah. boxing, putting it on the map and um, paving that path for the younger generation to be able to believe that boxing is something they can do like I didn't start till I was 25 because yeah I know I remember parent, yeah parents aren't putting their little girls in boxing I mean not when I grew up anyway there are a few but like it's not typical unless like you have 27 brothers and they're all boxing and it's like <laughs> oh let's throw the little girl in there yeah. as well but it's you know I feel like now we're getting a generation where little girls are actually able to see a future for themselves in a sport and get excited about it and it's such a great sport like why shouldn't we be able to involved like women's boxing is really really exciting at the moment no, no absolutely uh, and I've been, I've been enjoying it but uh i don't want to hold you up much longer Avril, because i know you got done training you probably want to get changed or whatever but uh is there any final message you want to give to the boxing world about your fight and, and what you got going on tune in february 4th or come to madison square garden tickets are on sale now um i'm excited Make sure you bring your Aussie flag. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. Have a yeah. Matthew. Thank you for talking to True School Sports. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.